first things up, I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot as my eye base today. And I'm just going to blend that out all over my eyelid. A little bit past my crease, but nowhere near my brow bone, just so that the color has something to stick to on my eyelids. Then grabbing MAC Saddle Eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Sigma E. 40 blending brush again you guys know this is my favorite blending brush to place any type of color in my crease area and to blend them out this color I'm just using it to give me a little bit of warmth in my crease not so much for any definition but just to add a little bit of warmth to this look using max deep fixation this is an eyeshadow color that came out with the max nudes and metallics collection a while back and it's just a beautiful uh, warm tone almost rose bronze color it's just so beautiful i can't describe it it's a really really pretty color you guys i'm just using my sonia kashuk small eyeshadow brush from target to really build this color up and show its intensity now i'm going in with max embark eyeshadow and my sigma e25 blending brush and i'm just concentrating this color on the outer v area and taking it up into the crease slightly twisting the brush sideways when i turn it into the crease uh, area of my eyeball just to get a little bit more intensity on the outer V and just to keep it solely in that outer V area and by just switching the the side of your brush it also helps you to just get a bit more of a blend going upwards so that's exactly what I want for this eye look moving on to the face I'm using makeup forever step one smoothing base primer and I've actually been enjoying this one a little bit more than the mattifying one I don't know why but it really smooths me out now I'm using max prep and prime highlighter pen and this one is in peach luster I just use this to color correct any darkness that's around my mouth any acne scars that have settled and have left you know little spots on my face that's what i use this for and i'm looking kind of crazy but you're gonna see how it really evens out the skin tone and color corrects the skin once it's been blended out properly with a beauty blender now i'm taking l'oreal's true match super blendable makeup this is in the color cappuccino n8 and i'm just using my black beauty blender to really buff this and blend this into the skin i actually really love this foundation i've been picking it up a whole lot more than my higher end foundations which is surprising but i just love how this sits on my skin um it's not heavy at all and it's just a really great affordable drugstore foundation product that actually really really works to highlight and conceal today i'm using my nars radiant creamy concealer in a monday and i'm just placing this on the high points of my face or wherever i need to conceal or to highlight my face so under the eyes cupid's bow chin forehead um, very top parts of the front of my brow those kind of places and then i'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with a beauty blender to set all of that in place i'm going to be using the Lori laura mercier <laughs> translucent setting powder with my real technique setting brush i actually fell in love with this powder um, earlier in the summer and it's really really good you guys if you're looking for a nice light setting powder definitely check out this Laura Mercier translucent set and powder it's really really good I don't get any flashbacks that kind of thing and it really sets my under eye makeup in place for my under eye area I'm going back in with my Sigma E30 pencil brush with the colors Embark and Saddle just mixed together just to give me a little bit more definition in that area to line my waterline I'm using the Marks Jacob high liner eye gel crayon pencil it's just a sample of it and it's really good you guys it's actually really soft and really really black so i will probably be getting a full size of this pencil once it runs out but it's really been behaving and doing well in my waterline not smudging or anything like that to set my entire face i'm using the max prep and prime cc powder in recharge i love using this powder during the summer because even though it's an orange powder it does what the color orange does for dark skin it actually brightens the face so that's really really good for the summertime so that's why during the summer I usually always set with my face with this powder so I'm just gonna go over my entire face everywhere that wasn't set before with any type of powder now to contour I'm using my max pro sculpting powder in shadowy and I'm just using my NARS ETA brush this is an amazing brush please take the splurge whenever you get a chance and buy this brush to contour your face with your face is going to love you and it's going to say thank you and it's going to give you a big hug for getting an amazing brush to really contour and chisel out your face with to contour my nose I'm using max blunt 
blush and the Sedona Lace uh, 773 small contour brush. It's an angled contour brush and I really like using this to contour my nose because it's really fluffy but it's also dense so I can get really accurate with it. Now for my highlights, yes, yeah, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Topaz. Really love this color. I prefer to apply it with my fingers because it just melts into the skin that way. And excuse my breakouts, I've been traveling so my skin is like, no, I hate you. But yeah, this highlight is amazing. Besides everything else on my face, I love this highlighter on my skin. For my blush, I'm using MAC's Extra Dimension Blush in Fiery Impact. This came out a while ago with another collection that I cannot recall, but I am just putting this on my cheeks and my upper cheekbone a little bit. I've always put on my blush this way. Um, it really, really accentuates my face and puts the blush in the right place and not just on the high points of my cheeks. So that's why I put it on that way. I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes with a Tarte Eyelash Curler. For my liner, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I love this. This is only a sample size as well, but I will be investing in the large one. This makes your liner so easy, you guys. If you have issues drawing your cat eye or your wing, this is going to make it easy. Look at that. Simple to the point the point never fades it's soft it doesn't like crinkle up and it doesn't give you too much product it just gives you the right amount of product Kat Von D did that with this eyeliner and you need it in your life for my mascara I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara this has been so far my favorite mascara for 2015 so far and it just lengthens my lashes you guys it's an amazing mascara it's a little bit messy but it really gets the job done and says exactly what it's going to do it actually does that to your lashes so this is an amazing mascara and you totally need it for lashes I've been loving these Coco lashes in the style Ariel they're just really sweet, but they're also really bold. These are an, some amazing lashes. Like, Coco lashes have been invading my beauty vanity. I love their lashes so much, and this style is no exception. Again, it's called Ariel, and it's just a beautiful pair of lashes. Now, for my lips, I'm using the NYX Cabaret Lip Pencil. And it's just a beautiful, like, deep red, but it's like a wine-colored red. It's so gorgeous. You totally need it in your lip liner collection. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with that. So for my lips, I'm using Max Ho Lipstick. Now, they did bring this back as an amplified finish, but this is from the Riri collection. That was a, a few years ago. Um, so yeah, it's like a retro matte in this one, but I believe the Amplify version is going to be beautiful to this So I can't wait to get my hands on that one, but I just love how this makes my skin glow It's just a beautiful color. All right, you guys So this is the completed and finished look. This has been my go-to look for the past couple of weeks So do let me know down in the comment section what you think about it or if you have any of these products that I have used and how they have been working for you guys. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!